Chris Salvador with a review for Speed Racer. I'll also be doing uh, Indiana Jones in the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull review, so you can check them out. So uh, I wanted to talk real quick about, uh, well, I always say real quick, it ends up being like three or four or five with six of these. But uh, Speed Racer, I don't remember too much of this movie. I have no idea when it was even released or what day, but I remember I saw it. So here's my review of Speed Racer. First and foremost, love the Matrix trilogy, love Matrix, love Matrix Reloaded, love Matrix Revolutions. You fuckers want to debate me about it, and Reloaded and Revolutions were not that good. They weren't as great. Eh, fuck you. They were awesome. Awesome. Love them. Wouldn't change a thing about them. Great. Yes, we can go. Oh, maybe it would have been cool to see Neo more in the Matrix, awakening people in the Matrix. Uh, fuck you. It was good. I liked it. Architect was awesome. Loved Revolutions. It's going to be a hell of a lot better than the Dragon Ball Z that's coming out, that fight. Awesome. It was awesome. I love it, and I can debate it on another day. There's been a lot of shit talked about the Wachowski brothers. I liked Bound. Uh, it was, it was alright, you know. I, mean, I just feel it was just what got them to the Matrix. So, uh, I really like the writing. I know there's some uh, Sophia Stewart and, you know, people out there that exist. Well, they stole the Matrix, blah, 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 yada, yada. I, the Wachowski brothers, to me, are like... Well, not what they are, but they, they are two kind of comic... They they were truck drivers, and then they ended up, you know... They end up... They're guys... They're just the blue-collar guys who liked comics and, and made that kind of pop art and presented it with something behind it. And I love V for Vendetta. I know I, they didn't direct it, but they did write the screenplay and James... Their friend James McTeague, or Teague, I'm sorry, sir. He, he did a good job. I also love V for Vendetta. It didn't get as much freaking money as 300 when it should have, but it was a good adaptation. So anyway, the point of all this is, did I like Speed Racer? No, I did not like Speed Racer, and here's why I did not like Speed Racer. I don't know why they didn't... Uh, I don't, why didn't they physically do the car chases is what pisses me off is like I think I was thinking about the other day and I thought well why didn't they do that and what I was thinking about was models like imagine if like I don't know I don't know how to explain this but it wasn't Spy Kids and it wasn't Shark Boy and Lava Girl which was ugh let's not talk about it but I feel that's the problem when you do worlds like this and there you know like Sin City fine, Sky Captain, fine. Usually when you put a person behind nothing but green screen, audiences are sophisticated enough to know that's not a real world behind him. He's in a studio on green screen. That, whatever you want to debate that, fine. It doesn't delay in the, you know, it doesn't distract me. But, the, the problem with this movie wasn't so much that it looked like you're watching Super Mario Kart, the movie, but that you didn't, like, it, they really tried, they tried their damnedest to make you, like, sometimes this movie doesn't know what it wants to be, because it's like, sometimes it's the Matrix, and it's like, I don't know what I gotta do, but I gotta do something. And you're sitting there going, okay, that's the scene in the Matrix where Neo's like, they're like, you're crazy, Neo, this is loco, those are agents, three of them, oh my god, and you're sitting there going like, that's Speed Racer, I don't know, I gotta race, I gotta get in my car, and I can, I can bring down the giant evil corporation by getting in a car and racing, and you're sitting there going, come on, dude, like, you know, like, come on, dude, what that, what the fuck, like, like a perfect example, the, 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 I remember at my screening, this is the review that children, a child, gave. We were watching it, and she's sitting, and this is, I'm watching it, Royalton's on, and he's giving his little uh, monologue that, that lifts him into the outer space. He's, he's up in outer space, you know, and he's, you know, and the little girl's like, I want to go home, crying for like two minutes. So I'm laughing at that. Like, that, that basically, when a, when a little kid is crying and they want to go home, um, and a lot of it had to do with that guy. That was a, I don't know, that dude, man, that monologue, does that, can you breathe up there in outer space? That guy is so, uh, let me tell you, you're never going to race. I'm a fucking actor. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Let me tell you a history. These were men, men with hats, hats and teeth and faces. Oh my God, you have no idea how fucking great I am as an actor. I'm amazing. This is going to take 
23 more fucking minutes to tell you what you already conveyed. That you need to sign this contract so that you, you speed racer, can be a real racer. I'm a bad guy. I'm a bad fucking guy. Look at this guy. He's worse than me. He's horrible. I'm fucking huge. I'm up here. You're down there. I'm amazing. I'm the man. You need to sign this contract. You need to sign this contract. This is a pen. It's not just a pen. It's got ink. It's amazing. You need to use this pen. You need to use it. And you need to sign this contract if you want to be a real racer. A real racer. Like that man behind you. He left. You didn't see him because you're looking at me. And I'm going to get my ass that's the gist of that scene. I'm sitting there going, dude, uh, calm the fuck down, come down from outer space, come down, float, come down here. Let's go to NASA, let's, let's bring him back down. Dude, that was so over the top. That was so, that was like Jeremy Irons. Fucking, uh, what's his Dungeons and Dragons, dude? He's so over the top. And I mean, I love the guy, I love him. In V for Vendetta, it made sense. He was playing the, uh, the guy, I forgot, Primo, Primo, Pontius, but whatever. I mean, this guy, I mean, he's great. And, 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 but, but the, I'm sure I scared the shit out of him, but the people living here, they're sitting there, what the fuck is going on? This guy's crazy. But that monologue, man, that shit had me going, uh, what the fuck? Dude, come down. I think that, that that's a very big reason what the, the problem with this movie is that, like, you have these really great actors, but you don't realize, dude, this is, this is about racing. It's about fun. It's about getting in a car, driving, bumping somebody. And there's there's some amazing things that these cars can do that I feel you'll never see in other movies of car racing. You won't see Fast and the Furious a car, you hit a button, and it lifts you in the air. You won't see them... Like, I like that. 